Now let's talk about the history of Baras Wayne Church. It is a Roman Catholic church, first built in 1630. It is located at Paseo del Congreso Street, Malolo City, Bulacan. The old church was destroyed by fire in 1884, rebuilt in 1885. This may be a favorite among Roman Catholics for Visita Iglesia. The historical significance of this place, however, transcends religious and regional diversity. What is usually overlooked is the place where the first Philippine Congress convened, September 15, 1898, where the first Philippine Constitution was passed also known as the Malolos Constitution, where the first Philippine Republic was inaugurated, January 23, 1899, and where the first Philippine President took his oath of office. This is the birthplace of the first Philippine Republic. The first President of the Philippines, General Emilio Aguinaldo, took his oath of office as president in this church on January 23, 1899. Should you want more trivia, only two Philippine presidents were inaugurated here. The first is, as previously noted, President Aguinaldo. The other one is President Joseph Estrada, who took his oath of office in the Barras Wayne Church on June 30, 1998. The historical marker placed in front of the church reads in part, this church as the seat of the Revolutionary Congress which convened from the middle of September 1898, to the last week of February 1899, under the presidency of Pedro A. Paterno. Among the important measures passed by the Congress was the Malolos Constitution, drafted mainly by Felipe G. Calderon. The opening of the first Congress of the Philippines was on September 15, 1898. On August 1, 1973, through the Presidential Decree No. 260, Baras Wayne Church was declared as a national shrine. It provided for the maintenance and improvements of the shrine because of its colorful and important role in the history of the country. In the present, and in the future, people are assured of a neat and maintained place to see that became a silent witness to time when the Filipinos desired and moved to create an independent nation.